My man, care you, care you, chill. <laughs> and the floor is huh? chill. <laughs> Both of them were like, <laughs> your daughter into me, sir. Bro, chill. What's good, everybody? I'm Gerard, and I'm back for some more Yakuza Kiwami. Now, y'all already know what we're up to right now. We're doing side quest and we're going around. Uh, let me go ahead and start moving around too. Uh, we're doing all that. Trying to get everything, you know, done and over with before we finish the game. Because we are pretty close to finishing now. And I decided, you know, I feel like I want to do a little bit of side quest at the very least before I finish up. So that's exactly what we're doing. Bob, I did not want to talk to you. I wanted to start running. Please get out of my face, clown. But yeah, we are back now. Uh, and as soon as I was about to start this video, I immediately remembered that I have not gone back and confronted Mai. If y'all remember Mai... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to put a, a video here because I don't remember what video it was from. But Mai was the, the freaking side quest girl who freaking drugged me. And I had to, and, and then she took all my money. So now I want to go get revenge. And by revenge, I mean I want my money back. So I'm going to go ahead and run down Pink Street and see if I can find Mai again. So I'll be right back once I figure this out. Or Bon Tom. I think it was Bon Tom. I think it was Bon Tom, and she didn't touch the drink. Oh my gosh, not right now. Bring it on. Bring it on. Y'all really want to be over here testing right now when I'm in the middle of getting my revenge. Nah, bro. Y'all stepped on me on the wrong day. While we in this fight right now, I mean, it's not, it's not gonna last very long, but y'all, I have I figured out. Oh my gosh, hit, hit him, hit him. I cannot do videos without being a little bit crazy, a little bit loud. Because as much as I enjoy playing the game, if you don't stop punching me, as much as I enjoy playing the game, I just, I enjoy playing the game, but I don't enjoy making the video because I'm like, it just feels so boring. I got to do something to like liven up the video for myself at the very least. So I'm like, you know, hopefully everyone still likes these videos because like right now, bro, I'm, I'm about to go back to editing a little bit. It's not going to be nearly as much as before, but I got to do something. Or at least I just got to make my personality pop in these videos a little bit more. Because otherwise, I just feel bored. Uh, bon Tom is up there. Continue upwards. So the only reason I think it's Bon Tom is because it says it's a casual place for drinking. So let's see if we can go ahead and encounter her again. Uh -oh. Hold up. Solicitor? Excuse me, sir. You Who's screaming in the background? Shut up! I've got seats open at a real nice bar nearby. Care for a drink? No thanks. Oh, but they serve incredible drinks at great prices. I said I wasn't interested. Oh? Please try it. If I don't bring in any customers, they'll take it out on me. Come on. Think of it as helping a brother out. If you don't like the consequences of failing at your job, find one you don't fail at. Oh, cure you, bro. Cure you, my man. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a low blow, bro. <laughs> uh -huh. What? That's cold, man. Cold as ice. You know what would warm you right up, though? A good drink. This dude ain't stopping. I'm out of here. Please, wait, 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 please. I mean it, see? My man is begging. Just one teensy drink. I swear it'll be worth it. Fine, one drink. Carry you, why did you go along with this? Really? But if this isn't an amazing drink, I'm walking. Thank you so much. I'll take you there, right this way. Care you, why did we do this? I didn't want to do this. But you wanted to? Welcome. What can I get you? Uh. Let's see. Manny. Ma. Majima! Majima! What are you doing here? I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm out. <laughs> Sit your butt down a sec, kiryu chan You can't just walk out the door without ordering something. Uh? Why would you be at a place like this? 
yeah, it's an old hobby of mine. Sometimes I just want to get behind a bar and serve some drinks to some fine customers. Really? I never would have thought. <laughs> I don't look the part now, but they used to call me the Lord of the Night. I was the gold standard of customer service, so you best be glad I'm the one serving. D did they? Well, if you're really gonna go to that much effort, I guess I'll have a drink. Alright, what you got for me, Majima? Alright, try this one first. This one's called the Goro 40 Years Old. The Goro 40 Years Old? I don't know, bro. Not a brand I've heard of. Oh, I ain't surprised. This one's a new face on the market. Only came out last year. It's got a real smoky texture, but it's still slightly sweet and goes down easy. It's a Majima favor for beginners or when you just need to drink and run. I see. Okay, buddy. It does have a classy taste. Pretty good. Good drinking, huh? Want another? Yeah, sure. One more won't hurt. This is where he just got you, Kiryu. This is where he just got you. What? You don't understand Majima and his tactics, bro. You gotta, you gotta stop falling for this. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. Uh. Alright, next to the line is the Mazima. The Mazima? That's actually kind of fire. Hold up. These brands are a little suspicious. No, no, it's a fine drink. A rich taste and an almost mysterious charm about it that makes you want to have another before you finish the first glass. Huh. Alright, let's try it out. Yeah. That one really packs a punch. <laughs> <laughs> you sure can't hold your liquor, kiryu chan I have to admit, I'm surprised. Coming from you, I would have expected some kind of bizarre cocktail. But you actually have pretty good taste. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Let's do his laugh, bro. <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm a customer service professional. Well then, what do it be? Thanks, but I better get going. What do I owe you? Of course, sir. Just a moment for some quick calculations. Five for the go, six for the row. That'll be 560,000 yen. Huh? huh? What the hell? Great value, eh? That's robbery. I only had two drinks. Why is it too, why is it so expensive? Well, this is some real legit best in class premium whiskey. Matter of fact, this would usually run 5.6 million yen. 5.6 million? Huh. Yeah, but we're buds, right, Kiryu Jun? I gave you a 90% Majima discount. What are you blowing your lid about? <sighs> so that's what this is all about. You were planning to scam me from the beginning. Huh? What? You wound me with these accusations, Kiryu Jun. All I'm asking is for you to pay for the alcohol that you drink. What part of that sounds like a scam? I don't know what kind of drinks you're usually into, but when I'm behind the bar, I only serve the good stuff. If you want to call me out, you can show me some dang proof. He's right. I don't know these brands, so there's no way I could check what, what the rate on the bottle actually is. Quit stalling here, you chun Are you gonna pay or not? If you ain't gonna pay... What? You'll call the cops? Oh. I would never make a criminal out of a customer, but I will have to rough you up a bit. Now I see your plan. You took a pretty roundabout way to get there this time. For real. If I pay him, he'll let me go. But those were outrageous prices. If I don't, I'll have to fight him. What should I do? Uh, fight him? I ain't paying half a million. Sorry, but I don't plan on paying. Oh, really? Well... I hope you realize what that means. All right. Sweet. Let's take this out front. Not out back? Oh, out front, huh? Not even out back. You over here going through some elaborate schemes to get me to fight you. Wild. My man said, oh, he in breaker style right now. Got you. My man said it would have normally cost five and a half million yen, bro. But what kind of prices, bro? You gotta be like, what? You joking. Alright. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Stop it. I don't care what kind of dance moves you got right now. 
Oh my gosh, I kicked him in the freaking family jewels. Stop it, bro. You ain't having kids now. Yeah, bro, you are not even... You aren't even touching me today. This is kind of sad. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Go ahead, go down, go down. There we go. You better power up, though. You better power up, though. Gotta make sure I'm ready. I think the opposite of Breaker Style is Rush Style, right? Don't matter right now. Don't even matter. He ain't even got a chance to power up yet. There we go. Is it? Yep, it is. Perfect uppercut from under it. And the JoJo on your freaking chest, bro. Bro, he didn't stand a chance. He didn't stand a chance. What a perfect way to start this video out, bro. Just what I expect you from you, Kiryu Chun. You down so much alcohol that you ought, you ought to be swaggering drunk. But all it did was make it stronger. You made me drink just to see what would happen? You're too crafty for your own good. No, you're too gullible for your own good, Kiryu. You? You're too gullible. Why would you go after this? Why would you go for this? Well, the plan worked, didn't it? In fact, I have figured all that cheap swill wouldn't have much effect on you, Kiryu chun. Cheap swill? Didn't you just tell me those two drinks would have cost 5.6 million yen? <laughs> you fell for that? I was serving you cheap crap you can't buy on the street corners. <laughs> what a sucker. Guzzling in that gutter piss and acting all debonair about it. What? Debonair? Never heard that word in my life. Throwing around words like classy about some bottom shelf hobo juice? I almost lost it a couple times. Hobo juice. Bottom shelf hobo juice. That's wild. At the very least, I was entertained. I let you off the hook for that. See you later, Kiryu chan This dude out here pulling up like the most crazy plans, bro, for no reason. Go to the night, he says. He was just trying to scam me. I'm glad I didn't pay. I'm up here. I know, imagine if I did pay? Good lord, bro. I would've been down so much money for no reason. Su Rising Sweep Reborn, okay. Nice. Alright, well we got Majima, um, in the very first, like, the very start of the video, which is kinda crazy. But we did not get the girl from Pink Street yet. My. Who are you? Is that you? It is her! I found her, bro. Nah, give me my money back. Your name is Mai, right? Wait, are they talking right now? I hope they're not talking. I don't hear nothing. That bar I took you to earlier is still open. So if you want to get even, take it out on them. I'll be going now. No, I'm taking it out on you. You're the one who lured me in. That was on autoplay though, why? Ah, well, well, if it isn't our plastered friend from last time. Heh, <laughs> were you able to get home safely? No. No thanks to you. I came back to thank you. Was I that drunk? I came back to thank you. Yeah, that's what I came back to do. I came back to thank you. I feel like they should be talking right now, but they're not. Nah, we didn't do anything out of the ordinary. You paid for your drinks after all. But if you have a problem with our service, Ayo! Then I'm gonna have to ask you here to leave. All right, bring it on, bro. I definitely feel like the game bugged right there. Unfortunate, but we can't do nothing about it. We improvise. You really thought this was gonna be enough to take me out? Oh, you're behind me? Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Hold up, hold up. Oh my, your buddy right here is annoying. He don't stop attack. Nope. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come here, thank you. I'm like, there's no reason why you was over here doing that to me. Stop it. Good work. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, your knuckles done, bro. Your knuckles and your chin are done, bro. Go to the hospital. Alright. Now what? Alright, you win. Let bygones be bygones, eh? Bro, it sucks this is not it's not working right now. Yeah, uh, I know it ain't much, but please take this for the trouble we caused. What are you giving me, huh? A hundred thousand yen. Okay, he paid me back more than what I lost. It's all about letting us off the hook. Nah. 
I'm about violence today, bro. I'm evil today. Uh, of course. That's not all. I've got some great info. What's that, huh? What's that? There's a secret casino in the basement of a ramen shop. Okay. What about it? To get in, ask for ramen, extra soup, side of half rice. Then the restaurant's manager will show you the way. Well now, I think we better excuse ourselves. I'm really, really sorry. Alright, we finished the mission. We finished the whole thing. Yeah, my whole audio just seems to have gotten bugged out of nowhere. I don't know why it got bugged out of nowhere, but it did. I don't know if that was on like my recording end or my, my you know, my computer's end or if that was on the game itself. I, I don't know. Either way, that's annoying. But we finished that one. That was all. That was what I wanted to do. I'm happy now. Gosh dang it! I knew it! I knew it! Ah, oh, come here! Come here! Come get this butt whooping. You're getting spanked today, buddy. And not in a good way. Your booty cheeks about to be rippling today. Don't know why you gotta freaking pick a fight with me. I'm sorry that I bumped into you, but you don't gotta freaking fight me over it. Yep. Yep. There you go. Take the boys down. Nope, stay down. Good lord, bro. Y'all don't gotta pick a fight with me just because I accidentally bump into you. Oh! You know what? Thank you. Hold up. Thank you. Now we got Majima over here. Hold up. Let's go, Majima. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. I'm ready. Yep. I didn't see what style he was in. I think it was B-style. Or the equivalent of B-style. So, be careful of that, I guess. There we go. Nice. Good work, good work, good work. Oh, we bodying him right now, bro. We got to get him leveled up. Because right now, he's kind of sad. Hold up. I don't have the, uh... Oh, it was... I think it was, uh... I think it was, uh... Woo, stop it. What, whatever the style was, I already forgot the name of it, bro. Hold up, hold up. There we go, there we go. I got my head in. Good. And while he's down. Good. Keep it moving. Keep it punching. Woo, stop it. Nope. I am the one who knocks, sir. I am the one who knocks. Not you! Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come on, come on. Woo, there we go. Oh, you can't even fight back. You can't even fight back. Oh, you're dead. Bro, catch this kick to the face. Or uppercut, never mind. <laughs> uppercut. Starting to pack a punch. Yep. Yep. I'll see you around, Majima. I'm definitely down to see you around, buddy. Yep. What did we get this time? Rank up? How is that not a rank up? No, I'm not trying to fight y'all, bro. Just because you see me in the in the vicinity does not mean that I'm looking for a fight. Oh, here we go. Hello? you son. This is Nishida from the Majima family. You... What's the problem now? No problem at all. In fact, you were released from prison recently, right? Did anyone celebrate your release? I was expelled from the family. Why would there be any kind of celebration? That's depressing, isn't it? The boss has graciously decided to entertain you, sir. Do you know a club named called Asia just down Pink Street? Asia? The bikini bar? That's where you want to celebrate my release? Exactly. The boss reserved the entire place for the private party, so you don't have to worry about about anything. It'll be closed to the public. Sounds like Majima-san, all right. But I'm sure he's got some kind of ulterior motive for this. We understand that you can be that he. Wait, what? We understand that you can be a very intense man, sir. But please, this is just a present from the boss. If you have time, please swing by. Fine. I'll keep my options open. Thank you. He'll be waiting for you. Yeah, we about to fight, bro. We about to fight again, bro. Club Asia, huh? He's probably going to attack me. If I go over there, I better make sure I'm ready for anything. Yep. I'm glad you know what's gonna what's coming to you now, Kiryu. All right, we made it. Uh, sir, I've heard a lot about you from the Majima family.
Oh, alright. Well, we in. What's about to happen now? What's he got in plan for me? In store for me? Hmm. Majima. Majima, get off the pole! Get off the pole! That is sickening, Majima. Welcome, Kiryu-chan. So, did I get you pumped up? No. In fact, I'm leaving. You got me pumped down. Huh? Yeah, right. If I'd known you were just going to fool around like you always do, I wouldn't have come. <laughs> oh, so you thought you'd get to see some hot ladies. Oh, Kiryu-chan, is that really what's on your mind? Yeah. The That's not it. But you can honestly call but you but can you honestly call a dance like that appropriate for someone's welcome back party? Huh? What? Are you dissatisfied with the entertainment? I tell you what, tonight you can touch the dances all you want. Huh? Bro, you're the only dancer here. I wouldn't touch you with a ten foot pole. I'm out of here. What? Wait. Are you saying you can't accept my welcome back party and the entertainment I've provided? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Even if it means I lose face over it? Don't be ridiculous. I never should have had a welcome back party in the first place. I decline the sentiment with all due respect. Eh, then you've prepared then you're prepared to face the consequences. So be it. I'll make sure you pay me back tenfold for all the expense I've gone to I've gone to for you. Let's do this! It's showtime! Bro? This man came in here on the stripper pole. I was disappointed and now he wanna fight me. All you want to do is fight me, bro. And you win Breaker Style again. Bring it on. Let's go, bro. My man Majima got the most wild scenes of all time right now. Cannot believe this. Stay down. Nope, stay down. I did not give you permission to stand back up, sir. You are to stay on the floor forever until I am done beating you down. There we go. Yep. Yep. You don't even get a chance to power up yet. I ain't giving you the chance yet. Are you getting powered up now? Nope. Stop it. Woo! He didn't see a chance, bro. Come on, Majima. Get, get better. Get better, bro. I'm ready for more. So, how was it? Super steamy, right? Uh. Yeah. That was the kind of dance... I'd never get to enjoy while I was behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. Dancers need an audience to really get them going, or there's nothing spicy about it. Majima son. Uh -huh. Eh? I know this is a little late, but I'm grateful that you thought to welcome me back, despite your methods. Screw that. I didn't wait for you to get out or pull off a something like this for your damn gratitude. I just wanted a serious fight. Besides, 10 years on a murder charge ain't crap. It's a walk in the park, especially compared to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, his brother? Oh, dang, that's kind of deep. Hold up. Who? Forget it. Show's over anyway. See you around, Kiryu-chan. Oh, okay. Majima actually kind of... Hey, rank up. Kinda getting a little serious sometimes now. Hold up. As usual, he shows you a glimpse of someone serious and then goes right back to his usual self. I learned Essence of Mad Dog Whirl? Hold up. Okay, we're getting a little more skillful out here. I like it. Alright, on to Vajima again. Wait, are those some rich guys? Because they're wearing some fancy outfits. Hold up. Fight me? Nouveau Rich. All right, that's what kind of money you got, buddy. Oh, you're not even hard to fight either. Oh, you're not even hard to fight either. Yeah, this is a sad fight. What you got? How, mu how much you got on you, buddy? Run it up. Run it up. Oh, okay, that was a good, like, what, 100k almost? Or 150k? Something like that? Oh, I can't actually do anything with Haruka right now. She's just not here, is she? Who are you? 
interviewer? Oh, excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, wow. Look at you. I'm definitely getting some bad boy vibes from you. Manny. What? Bad boy. You dress like a man with real presence. The nonchalant demeanor, that scowl that says, don't ask me about my dark past. Yes, amazing. You're the very definition of a bad boy. <laughs> okay, the freaking title of that sub story, bro. Hey, hold on a sec. What exactly are you talking about? Uh -huh. huh? Well, I just think you look like a cool old guy. So I'm asking, what the heck is this bad boy old guy stuff you keep saying? Uh huh? Huh? You're the poster boy of a badass dad, yet you don't know what, what they are? Bad boys are so in right now. Uh. No, I've never heard of them. Mm. I see. You must be the kind of man who becomes a dilf without trying. You just rock the look naturally. What? They call my man Kiryu a dilf? Ain't no way. My man ain't even... Well, I guess you know what? It's been 10 years. Kiryu is probably like... How old is he right now? Late 20s or like 30s right now? I feel like. He's not in his 40s, is it? Is he? There's no way. See? The bad and bad boy is short for badass dad. A middle-aged man who's dangerous yet dandy. Rugged but respectable. Simply put, a cool old guy with a bit of a bad boy streak. I see. They're appearing on TV shows, magazines, even in movies. Old men who kick butt have gotten really popular recently. I never would have thought. <laughs> Me. <laughs> a badass dad. How many years did I age in prison? I'm conducting interviews for a magazine, an article to seek out and determine who are the bad boys of Kamarocho. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's an actual criteria for that? Mm. Yes. I'm interviewing the hottest dilfs I can find, then deciding whether they're truly bad boy material. Some men are just trying to ride the bad boy gravy train because it's trendy now, but they're not the real deal. I don't really get it, but it sounds really stupid. And I would definitely like to interview you. Interested? Nanny. Me. This town has a ton of bad boys roaming around the streets. Why not stop them? <sighs> well... A lot of the men on these streets aren't bad boys, they're just bad people. It's too dangerous to talk to most of them. So I wandered into this park thinking it'd be safer, and I was hoping I'd find some more fatherly types here. You ran into purgatory? To find safer people? Is your head on right, girl? Uh, you came into West Park thinking it'd be safe? Exactly. Well... If I don't do something, this story I've been working on for months will fall through. So please, help me out. And besides, if you turn out to be a true bad boy, you'll get a special prize. You know what? Why not? We already here. Fine, I'll do it. Really? It's going to take up a good chunk of your time. Is that okay? A good chunk of my time? Oh my gosh, bro. Now I don't want to. Nah, we already in it, bro. We already in it. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Th thank you so much. Well, for starters, can you tell me your name and age? Uh. Sure. Kazuma Kiryu. 37 years old. Wow, he actually is almost in his 40s. That's crazy. I did not realize that. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Pushing 40, huh? Perfect. Well... Care you, son. Can you tell me what your priorities in life are as a badass dad? Mm. My priorities. Uh, how are other guys answering? Mm. Let's see. The man I interviewed earlier said he makes sure to wear sunglasses at all times, whether it's midday or midnight. That sounds stupid. Nanny. Huh? Sunglasses at midnight. He just sounds like an idiot. Yeah. Mm. That's not true. Some people say that sunglasses are the number one must-have accessory for bad boys. <clears throat> huh. I still don't understand exactly what a bad boy is. Well, whatever. 
What's my number one priority these days? My clothes? Majima san? Nothing really. I have no priorities these days. My clothes? What about Majima san, bro? <laughs> We're going with Majima san, bro. Hold up. Let's see. Lately, I've had to prioritize Majima san. Though, it's not really by choice. Uh, Majima san? Who's that? This guy who keeps trying to kill me. What? He's trying to kill you? Did you do something to his family? Or some other horrible thing like that? Yeah. Nah. It's not like that. Once upon a time, I got a little stubborn with him, and he kind of took a shine to me. <sighs> but now when we fight, I can't afford to pull any punches. And he's everywhere. It's actually kind of annoying. Mm. Uh, okay. I don't really get it, but he sounds like a hassle. <sighs> yeah, but due to this and that, I hadn't seen him for 10 years, yet even after a decade, he never forgot me. <laughs> eh, when I think about it that way, it's not half bad. <laughs> she over here laughing. I can't tell if you guys are best friends or arch enemies. But it's not complicated, it's not, but it's a complicated relationship only men understand, and I think it's lovely. <laughs> oh, you think so? Hi. You bet. I mean, your answer doesn't really pertain to what a bad boy prioritizes in his everyday life, but... Oh, right. <laughs> it's okay. Why don't we move on to the next question? Uh. Sure. Okay, then. Care you, son. My next question is... What? Who the heck are you? Howdy, folks. Hold on here a dang old minute. Yes? I've been listening to you kids talking about bad boys and whatnot. You want a real man. No one beats the boss. Uh -huh. Oh? A bad boy boss man, you say? You stay put. I'll go fetch him. <sighs> Bro, what? How are you just gonna interrupt my interview? And who are you bringing back? He better be someone cool. Oh, it's the florist himself. <laughs> Hey, care you? Getting interviewed, huh? You're sure you've sure got a lot of free time on your hands all of a sudden. <laughs> well, she practically begged me to do it. So you're this boss that man was talking about. I've been working on a story to find the best bad boys of Kamarocho. Uh, oh. You don't have to explain. I watched the whole thing. Uh huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, on his freaking surveillance cameras, I forgot, yep. So, miss, do you want to interview me too? May I? That open row, the scent of tobacco. I'm sensing an aura of bad assery from you, just as strong as Kiryu's. Mm. Actually, you may be an even badder bad boy than Kiryu's son. Nani. What the? Kiryu didn't like that. <laughs> you think? Mm. I don't really get it, but why do I feel slighted? Um, may I have your name? Oh, you can just call me the florist. The florist? Okay, well then, I'm going to continue my interview with the both of you, Kiryu son and Mr. Florist. Uh. Yeah, okay then. Let me ask both of you do you have an interesting bad boy story you can share? Nanny. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sudden like a heroic exploit? Hi. Sure, if you have something. Mr. Florist, would you care to share first? Let's see. I was walking in town the other day when a young thug and a woman tried to mug me. Demanded my wallet and everything. Oh my gosh! Were they targeting you for being an older man? Ah. Uh. Yep. But unlucky for him, my job is eavesdropping and taking candid photos, so I aired his dirty laundry on the spot. Stuff like his purchase history of pornography, the identity of his favorite sex worker, and the most recent sex acts he'd enjoyed with said worker. Some real kinky stuff. Then his little partner in crime got disgusted. She said, You sick. She <laughs> bro, this dude is a menace. Hold up. I, I was just in the middle of thought while thinking about that, bro. This man revealed everything his search history, where he's been going recently, you know, who he's been hooking up with. What? I mean, he got all the information. He knows everything about everybody in Kamarocha, but still, that's wild. She said, You sick bastard! I can't believe it! Then they started to argue, and I went along on my merry way. 
Man, you're pretty brutal sometimes. You've got your fists, I've got my facts. But to be fair, that girl was cheating on the thug with multiple guys. Dang, bro! This dude know everything. So it didn't, neither one of them were good anyways. Wait, can we back this up? Candid photos? Eavesdropping? That's your job? What exactly? <laughs> oh, do you really want to know? Mm. Uh, no. I'm just going to pretend I never heard all that. But that incident does, quali does qualify you for bad boy status. Okay, Kiryu son, what about you? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Kiryu, that you can beat my bad boy story? Mm. Now we're in a competition? A bad boy story. Let's see. I went on a rampage at a funeral. That just sounds horrible. That is like a bad boy. That just sounds like a, a menace to society. I was in the joint for 10 years. That's a little more, you know, bad boy type of energy. I beat up punks on a daily basis. That just sounds like you're a violent person. Let's go for I was in the joint for 10 years. What? I was in the joint for 10 years. How about that? Huh? The joint? As in prison? So you're an ex-convict? Yeah, I guess I am, huh? I got out pretty recently. Really? But 10 years is a long time. What did you do to get a sentence like that? Murder. Why would you say that? Well, I mean, I guess you just, you, 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 you care you. But I wouldn't have said it. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I has to interview you. <laughs> we done scared her off now, bro. We done scared her off. Oi. Whoa. Carry you. Phrasing, man. That was a bit misleading. Yeah, I'm like... Bro, I wouldn't have said all of that. I would have said that I was in prison for some time. And then I, would, I wouldn't have said that I was in prison for murder, though, or something like that. I would have, I would have played it off in some other way, bro. Manny. What? I'm just being honest. But don't worry, I never do anything to hurt you. Y you won't, right? Uh. Yeah, really. So calm down, okay? Okay, I believe you. Whew. <sighs> but that is a little too serious. That goes way past badass into just plain bad. Exactly. I was like, being in prison is one thing, but saying that you went to prison for murder is another thing, bro. I guess I should have thought that through. I didn't think they were going to go into that much detail. Manny. What? So you can't publish my bad boy story? Yeah, no. Maybe if I worked for a trashy tabloid. <laughs> oh. Okay. To think you're a killer. I've got to admit, you don't look like you'd be capable of, do of something so horrible. <laughs> well, everyone has their dark side. I'll drop it there. Don't get me wrong, as a journalist, I'd love to know more, but as someone who values her own life, I won't ask. Uh. Probably for the best. But isn't there a twist? Like you're not the real killer? Or maybe you didn't want to, but you had to protect someone? I'm sensing a real tear-jerking story in there. Exactly what I'm saying, bro! You don't just say, yeah, I went to prison for 10 years. What'd you go to prison for? Murder. Like. Bro, anybody's gonna be on edge at that point. They're gonna be like, bro, what? Get away from me, bro. Tell her the, the give her the freaking details. Something. <laughs> of course, I'm only basing that on a journalist hunch. You just don't strike me as a cold-hearted murderer. <laughs> <laughs> it was so long ago, I tend to block out the details. <sighs> Sheesh. No way you're gonna spill the beans, eh? Oh uh, yeah, he doesn't even know what happened, but he's the floor- Oh, the, the florist wasn't around 10 years ago though. But he doesn't even know what happened. Interesting. Anyway, give me a second to pull myself together before I ask the next question. Uh. Sure. Next question is... Mm -hmm. Huh? What's going on here, Date? Nani. Oh, what's good? Are we all getting interviewed at this point? Oh, here are you. In the forest. Hey guys. Date son. What are you doing here? Just out on a quick patrol? What are you guys up to? I'm being interviewed as a bad boy old guy. Huh? Uh come again? I don't 
Um, are you a friend of Kiryu's son? Uh. Yeah. This is Date's son. He's a cop. Oh, a cop! I'm currently interviewing men for a magazine. Bro, this is just gonna go on forever. All of a sudden, we're gonna get the whole crew here. Majima gonna be here. Screw it, Nishi gonna arrive too. So you're finding the badass dads of Kamurocho, eh? Mm. Yes. Older men are in right now. Tough guys with a heart of gold like Kiryu-san and Mr. Forrest here. Tough guys with a heart of gold after I just said I committed murder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone from teeny poppers to grandmothers are going wild for silver foxes on the silver screen. Teeny boppers is wild. Now that you mention it, Sayo was telling me just the other day, all the girls are into old guys. Saya chan is that your daughter? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Hey, wait a minute. Does that mean Saya's into guys like Kiryu and the florist? Mm. Yes, I think that's exactly what she was saying. <laughs> My man Kiryu! Kiryu chill! <laughs> and the florist <Huh>? chill! <laughs> Both of them were like, <laughs> your daughter into me, sir. Bro, chill! <laughs> That was unnecessary, bro. No, she can't. I do not approve. Besides, I'm the very definition of a badass dad. You guys aren't bad at all. Nanny. Uh, you're the police officer here. So <laughs> you're, you're an upstanding citizen, sir. You're a police officer. You're a cop. You do justice. We, we don't do justice. I'm a part of the Yakuza. Ex-Yakuza. Do enlighten us, Date-san. How are you anything but a boy scout, through and through? Yeah. No, I'm a loose cannon cop, a maverick of the police force. I'm always taking heat from the chief for defying orders. On top of that, I got drunk and failed to meet up with my daughter the, the other day. That's just being a bad dad. That's just be. That's just bad parenting. Nanny. What? Does that qualify as being a bad boy? If that's the case, uh, I forget my friend's birthday one time. Bro, why are we competing for who got the worst human being qualities? <laughs> Oi. To check this out, I forgot my wife's anniversary. Br are you still together? How are y'all not, are, are y'all not divorced? <laughs> Bro, what is up with these people right now? What are y'all doing? I know. Um, excuse me. If you three are trying to prove how much of a bad boy you are, this is having the opposite effect. Uh, oh, our bad. <sighs> Come on, that's not what being a badass dad is about. Standing up your daughter, forgetting your anniversary? That's more bad guy than badass. <laughs> Carries over your, why are you proud, sir? Wipe that smirk off your face. You should never forget a friend's birthday either, Kiryu-shan. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Bro, what is happening? <laughs> Why am I the only one who got yelled at? Because you were laughing. You were smirking. Good. Hey, so who among us would make the best bad boy anyway? Uh -huh. huh? Why do you ask? I think we need to decide who's the best badass dad is. Who the best badass dad is. It's kind of important now. Sure, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. Good. And starting now, instead of just sitting around and trying to one-up each other, we battle for the title of Ultimate Bad Boy. Huh? What? Excuse me, but you can't just change my story. <sighs> Don't be so uptight. I think it makes more sense, if you ask me. <laughs> it is much more interesting, don't you think? Mm. Um, you really think so? But I came here to interview men. Not adjudicate your egos. Dang. Now how about this? You can interview you can continue the interview by asking each of us a question. The three of us will answer the question, and he who gives the best answer will get the more badass dad cred. I see. That sounds fair, don't you think, miss? Mm. Yes. I th guess that's a good compromise. Mm. Then it's settled. So, really, I just have to do what I had already planned, which was to ask you some questions and get some answers. Uh. Exactly. 
then afterwards, you can decide which of us is more is more worthy of the title of the ultimate bad boy. Hi. Works for me. Let's get to the questions then. Okay, then I'm going to ask the one I'd been keeping on the back burner for the end of my interview. What do you think is the most important thing to a bad boy? Oh. The most important thing, eh? <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> oh? You're pretty confident, huh? Then please, florist, go ahead and answer first. Isn't it obvious? Financial power. Financial power? You mean money? Uh, Bingo. It's human nature to gain more confidence as you acquire more capital. As self-worth grows with net worth, it creates an image of the respectable adult male. Dandyism. Having both makes you and the kind of man makes you the kind of man that girls want and boys want to be. I think I get it. Money leads to confidence, and confidence makes you dandy. So dandyism's not just about clothes, it's the attitude of an older, more refined gentleman. And that dandyism is what makes a badass dad so cool. Is that what you're saying? Uh, exactly. So the most important thing to a bad boy is financial power, see? It all boils down to making bank. A man with no money usually has no confidence. Just look at the homeless in purgatory. Sure, they're good guys, but badass dads? Not a, not a one of them. I guess that's true. Then you've got, then you've got me. I make tons of money underground here. Sorry guys, but I'm confident my level of raw dandyism is just too high for you two to even compete. Yeah. Huh. The florist makes a pretty convincing argument. I see. Mr. Florist, thank you for your enlightening response. Date-san, would you like to answer next? Oh. Uh, sure. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing, florist Asai. Mm -hmm. What? It's true that financial power is important to badass dads. No doubt about that. But as far as the most important thing goes? Close, but no cigar. And that all? Oh, do go on. Interesting. What are you implying, Date-san? The most important thing to a bad boy, that'd be to have a loving family. Sir? Huh? Family? What's Date-san even talking about? Listen, what a true cool old guy needs is the heart to love his family, and a family that loves him back. No matter how much money and confidence a man might have, it's all for nothing if there's no one to share it with. A boy can only be a, can become a real grown man when he has a partner to care for and a family to protect. Okay, you know what? You kind of winning me over with that one. I see. So a guy without a family, without a loving family, is only half a man. Compared to a real bad boy, he'd be out of his league. In that respect, I've got a wife and a daughter to protect. And how about you, Kiryu? Daddy. What? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> you've got street cred, but you've never been married. Without domestic experience, Junior, it's too early to call yourself a badass dad. <clears throat> but lots of dandy men aren't married. Huh? What? There are a ton of bachelors out there, charming all kinds of women, and they've still got real swagger to them. <clears throat> so I don't think a badass dad necessarily has to be married with children. She's right. You're talking like you're some kind of respectable family man. But until recently, you weren't getting along with your wife or daughter at all. Oh. Yeah. Aaron the dirty laundry. Oh well, that was because <laughs> Guess I'm the clear winner here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the florist has the lead, at least for now. You're up, Kiryu son. Do you have a better answer? Uh uh, sure. <clears throat> The most important thing for a bad boy is going to a tanning salon every day. <laughs> Why? Having less common sense than normal men. <laughs> what? If I lack common sense, then surely I'll be able to win all the women in the world. I got no clue, bro. I'm just going to be honest here. I have no clue. Huh? 
sorry, but I still don't get what a bad boy actually is. So there's no way I'd know what's most important to them. Oh, so I've wasted all my all my time interviewing you. You gotta take the who cares attitude now, eh? Sounds like you've given up on winning this battle. Bro, my other answers are trash. Tanning salon, bro? How's that a bad boy? No common sense? Oh. Yeah, it's safe to say that Kiryu's forfeited. <clears throat> yes, that's true. He's out. Huh? Hey, wait. <clears throat> Dang. I guess it wasn't a good, a good idea to be honest. Well, thank you for answering, everyone. All that's left is for you to declare which of us is most worthy of being called the ultimate bad boy. Hi. Yes. Ahem. Let me make the announcement. Drum roll, please. The ultimate bad boy, old man, is... The florist. <laughs> Nailed it. Huh? What? Why? Dang it. Bro, we already went over this. I think the florist answer was the coolest, and right on the money. <sighs> Dang. That sucks. But it is what it is. I And I actually have a special prize for the florist. Oh. Thanks. Oh, since Kiryu san and Date san also answered my question, here. It's not special, but consider it a consolation prize. Oh. Thanks. Uh, a wild shirt. Oh, that look at Majima's son's shirt. Hold up. Well, Flora's son, let's continue to keep it keep it dandy as the ultimate badass dad. Forever a cool old guy, eh? eh I'll try to keep it up. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll do just dandy. Well, please excuse me. Yep. See you around. She was not joking when she said this interview was gonna take a long time. Was it, what was that, like a half hour, bro? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was my natural magnetism and dandyism that drew in all the ladies of purgatory in the first place. Maybe you two farts could learn a thing or two from me, huh? Who knows? You could even end up more popular with the ladies. I know you ain't talking, old man. Kill you over here catching ladies left and right. Whatever, Flores Asai. Come on with that. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> anyway, I need to get back to the station. Uh. Yeah. Alright, that's that. Interview done. Badass dads and cool old guys are currently in, huh? <laughs> Heh. Maybe I should check out a men's magazine and see what all the fuss is about. Okay. Side quest completed. 50,000 XP points too. Okay. Alright. I'm mean, gonna this one off right here, y'all. I'm gonna keep these videos a little bit shorter. That's what I like to do. Because I like to get a little more editing in there. So I'm gonna keep the videos less than an hour at the best that I can most of the times. Um, but yeah, we're done. Had a fun time with this one. Majima going crazy still. Catching me off guard everywhere we go. Um, and then we had the interview right now with these people about being a, a, a badass, cool dad, I guess. Um, I'm trying not to curse in my videos, but sometimes it's just not possible with this game so sometimes in this game i just gotta accept that fact and be like you know what i gotta go with the role otherwise it just ruins the whole vibe of the of the the comedy and the side quest who what is this dude doing behind me what are you throwing on the ground sir there ain't no birds around here so i hope they ain't bird feed or bread i don't know what he's doing bro anyways if y'all enjoyed though you know what to do body that like button Subscribe today as well if you haven't already to join the crew and hit up the membership if y'all want to see videos early. All up to you. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video.